Hello. The topic of this video is mathematical relationships, and the essential question is, what are math mathematical relationships, and how can we use them to predict how changing one variable is going to be impacting another variable? So the goal of physics is to be able to explain things we've noticed happening, and also to be able to make predictions about what things are going to happen in the future. And mathematical relationships are the tool that we're going to use to be able to do all of this. <clears throat> because mathematical relationships fundamentally help us see how changing one variable in the universe impacts every other variable um, in the universe as well. The relationship is the connection between these variables. Um, it's like uh, the explanation of, of what's going to happen when one thing changes. And also it turns out is uh, relationships are the building blocks of equations. So we'll learn um, in this unit how equations are built up out of these mathematical relationships. Fundamentally, it's pretty straightforward. We're, we're just trying to know right now at this level of physics if increasing one variable, um, how that's going to affect other variables. So um, if a variable goes up, will that make a different variable go up as well? That's one kind of mathematical relationship. Or maybe when one variable goes up, the other variable goes down. That's a different mathematical relationship. Um, or maybe changing one variable has no effect on the other variable. Changing one thing doesn't impact the stuff around us at all. And that's going to be a third mathematical relationship. So generally speaking, that's what we're trying to figure out when it comes to these relationships. So actually, it turns out that the most common mathematical relationship is what's called the no relationship. And that means um, that changing one variable did not affect some other variable around it. And the reason this is common is because there's a lot of variables out there and changing one thing doesn't affect everything else in the universe. It only affects a few select things that are related to that. So for example, um, the length of your hair, which is a variable that you can measure, has no relationship with the grade you're gonna get on your physics test, which is another variable that we can measure, but they're not related to each other, right? These two people have very different lengths hair but they are equally likely to be amazing at physics because that hair has no effect on the, um, the grade in physics. So that would be a no relationship between those two variables. Other variables have what's called a linear relationship. You may have heard that term in math before, but if not, linear relationships mean that increasing one variable is going to cause the other variable to increase by the same percent. So an example of this is the relationship between the number of people in a class, it has a linear relationship with the number of shoes that are in that classroom. So if you have one person in the class, right, that person has two shoes. If I increase the value of one of those variables, so I add more people to the class or, you know, have a different classroom that has four people instead of one in it, the other variable, which is the shoes, should go up by the same percent. So we doubled uh, or we quadrupled the number of people in the classroom, therefore the shoes should have also quadrupled. We're going to have four times as many shoes because we have four times as many people. A little note on linear, um, going the other direction works too, right? So if I reduce the number of people in the class, the shoes goes down as well. So it doesn't just work for things going up, the variable going up makes the other one go up, or that variable going down makes the other variable go down as well. And the last mathematical relationship that we're going to talk about this year is called an inverse relationship. Uh, inverse relationship is pretty much the opposite from the linear. What happens is that sometimes increasing the value of one variable causes the other variable to decrease or decreasing causes the other to increase. OK, um, and that's going to be an inverse relationship. For example, if you have a dog and it gets a certain amount of dinner, right? One dog gets to eat all of the food. But if we double the number of dogs in our family until we have two, how much of that dinner do they get? Assuming we're gonna give them the same amount of food either way, right? So if you have doubling the dogs, each dog is now only gonna get half as much dinner, right? So it's um, two times as many dogs, but one over two as much dinner. So that's the, that's the inverse relationship. One variable went up, and then the amount of dinner, the other variable is gonna go down. That's it for the mathematical relationships. Um, so please take a minute to revisit the essential question. 
How can we use mathematical relationships to predict how changing one variable will impact another variable? And how could we describe the variables around us and their relationships to each other in terms of these mathematical terms? And there's a little comic for you to enjoy. Um, thanks for watching.